let you by the house of fun. I don't know why I didn't come. I don't know why I didn't come. When I saw you in the cell, kept the visit it multiple times a day, and it always feels like nothing ever is happening. I've been to PAC now once a year, every year since it started. And I'd be like going to visit a house that's in once a month, where things, usually like when I go to your house and once a month, and I see, wow, they have new closets. Um, so you, you really, it's a unique perspective because you get to see in a big snapshot the progress of the program. And when we first started going, you know, because you're really educating entire families and, and a whole generation, or two generations. When we first started coming here, the kids, the Ethiopian kids, would, when they would interact with you, basically they would look down at their shoe and mumble, and very sort of a frightened body posture, not loud, not, you know, they're just very shy and reserved. As each time you came, each year you'd see a little more outgoing, a little more confidence, till last year they did a, a musical for us. And these kids were hamming it up and, and wanted to be, you know, hugging and shouting. I'm taking a little video. As we're approaching the capital, Jerusalem has been really considered a capital since 1000 BCE. What happened then? King David decided to make Jerusalem his capital. And we will meet him tomorrow. I mean, King his David? death, but his city, his concept, his philosophy. Why? Because this area for David was central. It had height. It had water. And it was religiously significant. It was five thousand communities that were obliterated. Do you know what that is? That's an entire civilization and heritage totally buried in the ashes of the Holocaust. And to commemorate very special people. I don't know if you dealt with this in Poland, the righteous among the nations. We're standing in the avenue of the righteous among the nations, and I think this is a spot that represents humanity. You see, yeah. Okay, we're in Jerusalem here, and this is a mall that was opened only a year and a half ago next to our hotel. And it's really pretty cool. What's up, guys? Good morning, sir. In Jerusalem. I'm fine. I'm fine. Stacy, you never know. Greg, how you doing? Wow. I've been doing better, but I have one of those carrots. This is yeah. Got some potatoes, some chicken liver, no one's here. I saw you put one post 1865 phenomenon. Almost everything you see is built after 1865. Um, the whole of Jerusalem was more or less inside the old city walls up till that time. We're coming up to another gate in a second. That's going to be the largest and more beautiful gate, and that's um, Damascus Gate. Um, I spent some time. It's up here. We are more or less over here. This is the outline of the Temple Mount. Um, what will happen? Okay, the first basilica, this large structure here, further to the south, and I think that's probably a more accurate depiction than what we're seeing here. The reason they will not go up on top is because in antiquity, um, there was only one person who went into the Holy of Holies once a year. That was a high priest on Yom Kippur, doing so only after fasting. 
This is pretty tight in here. Don't think about people died like being squished. For sure, for sure. My goodness, so.